a very good morning children welcome back to the english online class children i hope that you all are staying fit and fine at your home before starting today's lesson let me tell you first of all about one of the most important thing that cbse has announced regarding your syllabus cbse has deleted 30% of syllabus from your both ncert books including grammar it would be better if you will write it down in your rough notebook for further use the first one that is from your grammar section let me tell you which main topics are deleted the first one is use of passive voice second is clauses that includes noun ad adverb clauses of condition and time relative and third is preposition so these three topics are deleted from your grammar section moving towards your literature section first flight book four poems and one lesson has been deleted from this book the first one is how to tell wild animals which is a poem second trees again this is a poem third fog again this is the poem fourth mishbil the otter which is the lesson from your pro section fifth is for n gregory that is again the poem from your poetry section so four poem and one lesson has been deleted from the first flight book moving towards the supplementary book footprints without feet three topics are deleted from this book the first one is the midnight visitor second is a question of trust and the third one is the book that saved the earth so these three topics are deleted from your syllabus i request you all to copy down all these topics that are deleted from your ncert books now let's move towards today's lesson from supplementary book footprints without feet lesson number 5 and the name of the chapter is footprints without feet that is the name of the book itself which is written by h g wells so first let me tell you the main characters of the lesson there are three main characters the first one is griffin griffin was an extraordinary and brilliant scientist he discovered that the human body could become invisible and transparent as a sheet of glass second is mrs hall who is the land lord's wife at the local inn in iping the third one is jeffers he is the village constable he is very determined person so these are the three main characters of the lesson now let me introduce you about the lesson can a man become invisible this is a story of a scientist who discovers how to make himself invisible does he use or misuse his discovery so let us see in this story the story is about a scientist named griffin he discovers the rare chemicals which can make a man invisible but at the same time the man can be touched and felt physically let us read and find out how he uses or misuses his power powers for his own but before that let us talk about the author 
H. G. Wills. The full name is Herbert George Wills, who was born on 21st September 1866 and died on 13th August 1946. He was an English writer. He was prolific in many genres, writing dozens of novels, short stories and works of social commentary, satire, biography and autobiography and even two books on recreational war games. He is now best remembered for his science fiction novels and is often called the father of science fiction along with Jules Verne and Hugo Jones back. Now let us check the difficult words and their meaning that will help you while reading. The first one is muddy which means covered in or full of mud. Second is imprints meaning is impress or stamp on a surface. Third is bear, that means not clothed or covered. Fourth is gazed, which means looked at steadily and intently, especially in admiration, surprise or thought. The fifth one is remarkable and the meaning is worthy of attention, that is striking. The sixth one is in and the meaning of in is a pub, typically one in the country in some cases providing accommodation. Seventh is waging that means move or cause to move rapidly to and fro. Eighth is sight which means the faculty or power of seeing. Ninth is progressing, which means move forward or onward in space or time. Ninth is fascinated, which means strongly attracted and interested. Tenth is fainter, that means barely perceptible. Eleventh is bewildered that means perplexed and confused or you can say very puzzled next is eject that means compel someone to leave a place the next one is solitude and the meaning is the state or situation of being alone the next one is eccentric that means unconventional and slightly strange. The next word is again curious, which means strange or you can say unusual. Next one is clergyman, that means a male priest, minister or religious leader, especially a Christian one. And the last one is poker, that means a metal rod with a handle used for prodding and staring on open fire. Now children, let us move towards the explanation of the lesson. Footprints without feet. Two boys suddenly noticed a few muddy imprints of bare feet. They started wondering that what was a barefoot man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of London. They also started thinking that where was the man as he was nowhere to be seen. They suddenly saw another footmark. The man was still not visible. They started following the footprints. They followed them until the footprints 
became invisible they had been following a scientist who had discovered how to make the human body transparent or invisible it was griffin the scientist who had been working for a long time to see how to make the human body invisible suddenly one day he consumed certain drugs which made him his body invisible though it could be felt griffin was a lawless person as he had once burned down the house of his landlord who was trying to throw him out of the house and then as he wanted to be invisible he had to remove his clothes and then roam around without clothes and without money his presence was felt after he stepped in some mud and his footprints could be seen as he walked he easily escaped the boys who had followed him but he had many more adventures coming up he had chosen a bad time to wander in london as it was winter season going on and the air was bitterly cold he decided to stay inside a store for warmth as he went inside the store and closing time arrived the doors of the stores store was were shut and nobody was there inside he got food to eat and wore new clothes without paying for he became invisible again as he wore shoes overcoat and a hat he then found cold meat and coffee in the kitchen and ate them after that he also had sweets and wine from the grocery store then he slept on the pile of quilts kept nearby and could not wake up on time next morning when the assistants came and started approaching him he became nervous and started running away then the assistants started chasing him as well he escaped only because he quickly removed his new clothes again he was invisible and naked without any money in the chill air of january this time he decided to try the clothing of the theoretical world as he knew that he would surely find something there to cover his face with he quickly reached drury lane the center of the theoretical world as he was shivering with cold he found a shop according to his needs and entered it he came out wearing bandages around his forehead false nose side whiskers and a hat then as he did not have any money he attacked a shopkeeper and robbed him of all his money then he felt that london was too crowded and decided to go to a small village nearby iping he took a train and booked two rooms in the local inn the event of a stranger coming and staying at the inn in the winter night was not a normal thing to happen in iping and everybody started talking about it also because griffin looked very strange the landlord of the inn where griffin stayed mrs hall made a lot of efforts to be friendly with griffin but he did not want to talk he clearly told her that his reason for coming to iping was for peace 
and quietness and he did not wish to be disturbed in his work also he told her that an accident had affected his face due to which he had to cover it the landlord's wife mrs hall accepted that her new guest was a strange scientist and was ready to excuse his temper and habits as he had paid her in advance then the time came when his money was over and he had no ready cash available for further payment at the inn he had to pretend that he was waiting for a check which could arrive at any moment then somebody really something really strange happened the clergyman and his wife were awakened by some noises in their study room when they were coming downstairs they could hear the sound of money being taken from the clergyman's desk the clergyman held a metal rod in his hand and flung the door open as soon as he opened the door he said surrender as he thought he had caught the thief to their surprise they couldn't see anyone they looked un- under the desk behind the curtains and also up the chimney but the person was nowhere to be seen yet the desk had been opened and the housekeeping money was gone then the clergyman kept on saying extraordinary affair the whole day because of because he was shocked by the incident but the things that happened with mrs hall's furniture were much more fascinating mrs hall and her husband woke up very early and were surprised at the door to the guest room was open usually his rooms door remained closed and locked he used to get very angry he is here the griffin so griffin used to be very angry if anyone tried entering his room it was an opportunity and mrs hall did not want to miss it they decided to investigate when they saw that somebody was inside the room his bed sheets were cold which showed that he must have been up for a while and also all the bandages that he used to tie around his face were lying around the room suddenly mrs hall heard a sniff close to her ear and griffin's hat that was lying on the bed post flung towards mrs hall and hit her on her face then the chair in the room dashed itself hitting mrs hall in her legs as they got scared mrs hall and her husband were going out of the room when the chair closed the door and suddenly a sound of slamming the door and locking were heard this terrorized mrs hall and she was about to fall down from the stairs she was convinced of the thought that there were spirits in her aunt's room and that the stranger had caused this to happen she moaned that her mother used to sit in the chair which hit her legs and thought that how could it rise up against her the neighbors of mrs hall thought that it was witchcraft which had caused such a thing to happen when the news of the burglary at the clergyman's house reached other people in town everyone started suspecting the strange scientist suspicion grew stronger on him when he produced ready cash for his payment at the inn 
even though he had told some time back that he did not have money and was waiting for a check to arrive the village constable was called for and mrs hall did not want to wait for him she went straight to Griff griffin as he had appeared from the empty bedroom at the inn she asked him what had he been doing upstairs to his chairs and furniture she also asked him how did he come out of the empty room or entered the lock locked bedroom the scientist became really angry and started shouting that they don't understand who or what he was and decided to show them the truth he removed his bandages whiskers spectacles and also his nose it took him just a minute to do all this and the people in the bar were horrified as they looked at the headless man mr jeffers the constable of the village was surprised as he saw that he had to arrest a man without any head but jeffers still wanted to do his duty as he knew that the magistrate wanted him to arrest the person and it did not matter that he had a head or not as he threw away more and more of his clothes he became more and more invisible and finally after griffin removed his shirt he was nowhere to be seen and jeffers was struggling to arrest a man who had become completely invisible people who tried helping jeffers were also struggling as they were hit by blows from nowhere as jeffers made his last attempt to catch hold of the invisible man he was knocked unconscious by the invisible man everybody was shouting hold him repeatedly but griffin had set himself free from them and nobody could understand how to catch him so children this was the explanation of the lesson hope you all have understood it now let us move towards the theme of this story the story footprints without feet describes the story of a brilliant scientist griffin who degenerated himself into a lawless person griffin discovered that the human body could become transparent and invisible but he misused his great discovery he did not use the power of invisibility for the welfare of society and humanity at large he misused it to threaten trouble and beat innocent persons and rob them he made illegal entries in stores and shops and stole things from there he committed a burglary in a clergyman's house in iping griffin remained invisible or unseen only when he was without clothes if he put on clothes he lost his invisibility and could be seen by the people around him so children the lesson gives a message that misuse of science and its great discoveries can make even a brilliant scientist like griffin a monster and a threatening lawless person so this is the message that lesson gives us hope children that you have understood the lesson and this is your homework that you have to read the chapter thoroughly so that you better understand the chapter again thank you